publication education for excellence hello friends i am vedav let us learn about computer next before we know about computer let me introduce you to my friend robo hi i am robo let's learn chapter 5 introduction to ms word 2010 you will learn word processor feature of a word processor starting ms word components of ms word 2010 Minimize and maximize ribbon, backstage view, add command to quick access toolbar, ruler. Word processor. Dear children, in the previous chapter, you have learned about working with pictures using MS Paint program. Now, in this chapter. You will learn about working with text. For this, we use a program called Word Processor. A word processor is a software program through which we can create a document, store document, and print the document. It is used to format the document as per our need. There are so many word processor available such as Notepad, WordPad, MS Word, PageMaker, etc. Robo fact: PageMaker was one of the first desktop publishing programs introduced in 1985 by Aldous on the Apple Macintosh. Word processor is used for many purposes such as making reports, mark sheets, writing letters, poems, making invitation cards, etc. Feature of a word processor. It allows to create, delete, copy, move and rename files it allows to format documents such as font font size color table image etc it allows to check and correct spellings and grammar it allows to insert images in document it allows to print documents MS Word 2010 is the most popular word processor among all word processors it is a part of MS Office starting MS Word 2010 to start MS Word 2010 follow these steps once the computer is on Click on the start button. Click on apps from the start menu. Click on Microsoft Word 2010 program icon. After following all steps, MS Word 2010 appears on the screen. Components of MS Word 2010. See the above image. You will find different components of Word 2010. Let's learn about the main components of MS Word 2010. Quick access toolbar, tabs, title bar, program level control button, scroll box, vertical scroll bar, zoom slider, view options, status bar. Insertion point, Word document window, file tab, ribbon, group names, dialog box launcher, print layout button. 
file tab. You can find this tab at the left corner of Word 2010. When you click on this button, a menu appears. This menu is used to create a new file, open, save and print files. The Quick Access Toolbar The Quick Access Toolbar is used to provide shortcuts of few commonly used commands such as cut, copy, paste, save, etc. Title Bar The title bar appears at the top of the screen. It displays the name of the program and active document. Control Buttons these buttons are available on the right corner of the title bar. There are three buttons, Minimize, Maximize and Close button. The Minimize button is used to minimize the windows at the task bar. The Maximize button maximizes the window and fill the screen. The Close button closes the window. Ribbon Ribbon is present just below the title bar. Ribbon has commands. You can use Ribbon to work in MS Word 10. It has two parts, tabs and groups. File, Home, Insert, Page Layout are some tabs on the Ribbon. Clicking on the tab Display groups of command. Ruler. Ruler measures the width and shows the margin. Scroll bar. Scroll bar is a long thin strip with arrows and a sliding section at the edge of the window. There are two scroll bars. Horizontal scroll bar, vertical scroll bar. Horizontal scroll bar. It is used for shifting the MS Word screen display left or right. Vertical scroll bar. It is used for shifting MS Word screen display up or down. Document window. Document window is the area where you can type the text. Insertion point. Insertion point or cursor is the blinking vertical line I on the work area that shows the location to insert text. Status bar Status bar displays information about the cursor position. It shows page number, column number and line number. View options This button shows Different views of the document. Zoom slider. With the help of this slider, we can zoom in or zoom out our document. Minimize and maximize the ribbon. The ribbon is designed for easy use and responsive to your current task. However, you can choose to minimize if it is taking up too much screen space. Click the arrow on the upper right corner of the ribbon to minimize it. To maximize the ribbon, click the arrow again. When the ribbon is minimized, you can make it reappear by clicking on the tab. However, the ribbon will disappear again when you are not using it. Backstage view Backstage view gives you various options for saving, opening, printing and sharing your files. It is similar to MS Office button menu from Word 2007 and the file menu from earlier version of Word. However, instead of just a menu, it's a full page view which makes it easier to work with. How to get on Backstage View? Click the File tab. Backstage View You can choose an option 
on the left side of the page. To get back to your document, click any tab on the ribbon. Click the buttons in the interactive icons below to learn about the different things you can do in Backstage View. Add command to Quick Access Toolbar. To add command with the help of Quick Access Toolbar, follow these steps. Click the drop down arrow to the right click of the Quick Access Toolbar. Select the command you want to add from the drop down menu. It will appear in the Quick Access Toolbar. The ruler. The ruler is a scale and it is located at the top and to the left of your document. It makes easier to adjust your document with precision. If you want, you can hide the ruler to free up more screen space. To hide or view the ruler, click the view ruler icon over the scroll bar to hide the ruler. To show the ruler, click the view ruler icon again. Quick Review A word processor is a software program through which we can create document, store document and print document. MS Word is most popular word processor among all word processors. A ribbon has two parts, tabs and groups. The Quick Access Toolbar is used to provide shortcuts of few commonly used programs. The ruler is the scale present at the top and left of the document. See you in the next chapter! With publication, education for excellence.